midpoint rule. So it's saying use the midpoint rule of three partitions. So if you guys remember, remember how I kind of threw a wrench in those last two examples we did today? I said, hey, you're evaluating from zero to three, but I want you know, six partitions, right? Or I want six rectangles, correct? So that changes things. Well, in this example, we're using the midpoint formula, and they're asking for to exactly three partitions. Now remember the midpoint we're using, not the left or the left endpoint or the right endpoint, but we're using the midpoint. So we want to be able to see, can we create basically three kind of midpoints, because they're asking for three partitions. One there, one there, and one there. All right? And then we're going to use those, but again, remember, once you have that midpoint, again, think about this on the curve. So here's one, here's two. If you're using the, like, so when you do the left hand, it looks like this. When you do the right hand, it looks like that. When you use the midpoint, you're going from there and going back and forth, right? So we got to find the distance from at the midpoint from the left to the right. So at two, the distance to one as well plus the distance from two to three is going to be a total of two, two. one plus one. So basically what we'll have is we're going to find the uh, 2 times f of 2 plus 2 times f of 4 plus 2 times f of 6. And then we just go with 2 times 5 plus 2 times 4 plus 2 times 19. And then our approximation from Riemann sums is going to be 64. One thing I want to make sure you guys are aware of.